So this video is going to be a great value addition for all the BTEC students. And if you are currently in your third and fourth year of BTEC, the things which I am going to discuss in this video might make you feel a little overwhelmed. But please know this fact that I came to know about all those things after my BTEC got over. So you still have a lot of time, so don't worry. I will explain broadly two things in this video. First thing is that we are all engineers and we need to know the cause of every action. But when we ask ourselves like why we are taking this subject, what are the relevant for this topic in my future self, then we don't get that answer. So I'll help you to get that answer today. And secondly, take my example. I have not seen any Marvel movie yet because I know they are very spectacular, but I have not seen them because there are many movies and I don't know which one I should take first and which one should take second to know the story perfectly. And the same thing happened with us during our BTEC. When we start preparing for job or gate, we have many subjects, but we don't know which subject to take first and which one should come after that. So in this video, I'll construct a systematic algorithm by which you can take up each subject step by step. So if you are finding these topics interesting, then please like this video right now and I'll start the video. Hey new people, so I am your big brother Rajdeep, I am currently working as CAD engineer with Intel. In VLSI, we largely have two types of job, firstly a circuit oriented job and secondly the communication related job. In communication related job, what we do, we generally do different signal processing using communication algorithm, for example first Fourier transform algorithm. And in circuit level, we have further two types of broad specification and those are analog and digital. And our all BTEC subjects can be broadly divided into these three sections, analog, digital and communication. And few are intermediate which need to be covered by you irrespective of which domain you want to go. And if you are preparing for gate then all subjects are important. So after this basic overview of VLSI industry, now we will take up the subject in the same way by which you should prepare. So mathematics is the language of science. The same mathematics which I am afraid of most during my BTEC year because I don't know the relevance of those mathematics topic and that's why I have never find any interest in learning mathematics and we need to know the maths before starting any subjects but that doesn't mean you need to know everything of your math specific to each domain few topics are important and you just need to know those topic concepts not like take a topic and go and do hundreds of problems from that topic that is required if you are preparing for kid but for job you don't need to practice your maths you just need to know the maths so I'll quickly take up the few topics of math and their relevance in your subject. For example, first is differential equation. Differential equation is very important for EDC or semiconductor physics and then also very important for your electrical network subject. Linear algebra to solve any multivariable equation. If you want to know machine learning, then also linear algebra is the core component there and you can learn linear algebra from this guy this youtube channel has a wonderful playlist then complex number again electrical networking ac analysis electromagnetism signal and system then laplace transform and that is also very important for signal and system subject then coordinate system and transformation it is a very important for electromagnetism in future if you want to be a rf engineer and then vector analysis also same thing it's very important for electromagnetism and if you want to be a RF engineer in future. Then probability and statistics, very important for communication field and also for machine learning purposes. As specified earlier, if you are preparing for job, all top math topics are not necessary. Just pick your domain and pick those topics and revise those topics firstly. And then we will come to our core subject. So in circuit level job, the main two subjects, fundamental subjects which you should know and they are EDC or the semiconductor physics, very important important and then your electrical network if you have covered the prerequisite mass topic then edc won't trouble you it is really cumbersome because of the large large equations but those equations you don't need to memorize it you just to know it like 
how why they are coming and in edc you need to put a little extra effort if you want to be placed in all the foundry related jobs for example tsmc umc or in some sense intel samsung and all other company who have their foundry services network is very important for any circuit level job and to further study your digital and analog subjects for edc resources which i have followed i'll tell you a little later and for network you can follow neso academy and for communication domain job signal and system is the fundamental topic you need to know the signal and system and in signal and system it's like a mathematical subject only and for resources you can follow on again neso academy playlist once this edc and network is over you have revised or you have learned that two subject then you go for the main core analog subjects and for analog subject if it is not for gate and it is only for job then just please keep the bgt portion fully and concentrate on the mosfet only one and only and for that i have two very good resources one is from iit delhi nptel course and second is actually i'll give the more preference in second course from lecture 1 to 12 he dealt with the edc topics so you can use this playlist as a resource to learn your edc or semiconductor physics and from lecture number 29 onward he will start the mosfet circuits so you go from 1 to 12 and then skip all other topics because those are from bgt we don't require for job so that's all you need to get analog profile job after completion of your BTEC because in analog competition are very low you can take up this shark tank example where maximum of people came out with food industry startup idea and very less from transportation industry idea but in the conversion ratio all out of five startup on transportation industry got the funding so same logic applied in analog also if you know it you'll get a job and one thing I forgot if you are looking for analog job then when you are studying your network subject then please give a lot of importance on your R rlc ac analysis part this is very important so now we are at communication profile so roughly what communication people do they do the signal processing it requires a lot of coding lot of knowledge of communication protocol any company which have a wireless connectivity or wired connectivity they need the communication engineer and all the major vlsi companies like qualcomm amd mediatek intel everyone recruit communication engineer we just overlook it but one problem is that to read the communication subject you need to have a very great holding of your fundamental subject and for communication what was the fundamental subject and it was your signal and system and the maths topic which i already discussed earlier if you have a good holding of those fundamentals then you can take up your analog communication and digital communication and you will find those very easy otherwise it will be a nightmare for you additionally for job perspective a basic knowledge of matlab it's a plus point and if you have some basic projects using matlab then it's a plus plus point and if you want to know more thing about communication engineer opportunity the project ideas then please comment it down i'll try to make one video now digital profile so in digital profile we have a lot of competition and to be one step ahead of your competition you need to know little more than your btech syllabus and that's why after you finished your prerequisites and those are specially electrical network you start with your basic digital circuits after you complete that basic digital circuit course start with this course from iit madras after you finish this go for this resource and learn sta and in your interview explicitly mention that you know about sta so they will ask you a few questions because generally from BTEC students they don't expect the knowledge of STA and after that try to finish very long and this course by IIT Kharagpur it's a very nice one go through it and when you are going through that course you will find out many project idea and then you can implement those project idea and I know you are all asking for project idea from digital if you have the same feeling let me know and I will make one video sooner than expected then there is a domain which is a little bit club domain and that is called RF engineer domain and RF engineer domain are generally 
analog engineers only but with some special skills and those skills are come from your emft electromagnetism basic course so if you are interested to become a rf engineer then your emft need to be very good and for emft our prerequisites are same it is your basic electrical network and then the maths topic which i have specified before and yes i agree this subject has too much dependency on on maths but 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 if your maths are clear then you may find interest in this subject and this is my favorite subject during my btech if you tell me about resources then you can follow this two lecture bonus tip if you are not from top tier colleges then please try to have a enrollment in vlsi training institute for 6 month if and only if your time and money allow you bonus tip plus plus learn little bit of python also it's not that you need to be a pro coder but just know the basics of coding which i already have discussed in this video and only for btech student who are in your first and second year you will have a lot of time so if you gone through all those thing then additionally you can take up a introductory course in machine learning for from nptel so that's all for today i will wait for you in comment section to know your feedback until then bye bye